Hi guys, uh, I'm doing this as a response to Sybil B, who's doing a To Die For Challenge, I do believe is the title of that. And I'll put the link to Sybil's channel in the description box. She wants to know how you store your dies. I store my dies two ways. One, the larger dies go in here and magnet sheets. These are 5 and 5 eighths by 7 and 3 eighths. They're the exact same size as the Avery L bags. Um, and I still have eight sets of 50 available for $14 US shipped. So if you're interested in those or wanting to know, you know, what somebody who's purchased them has thinks about them, uh, I will leave a link to Amador's channel. He has reviewed these bags and what he has to say about them is, is in that video. So I'll leave a link to that. Send me a PM if you're interested. Okay. Now the infomercials. <laughs> I don't mean to sound like an infomercial. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, so this is how I store all my dies. These are the wafer thin dies. Pull one out here. Okay, so this is a, a CD sleeve, and this is a piece of magnet. I just have them on a piece of magnet and I have them labeled. So that's how I store the smaller ones. For the larger ones, like my spellbinders here. I put them in the larger uh, sleeves that I just showed you and put them on a piece of magnet and that's how they're stored like that and then the you know I have a couple of spell binders or uh, spell binder stampin' up ones and they are in their packaging that they came in I also store my stamps exactly the same way my larger stamp sets so these um, sleeves are for my stamps and my dies, making them dual purpose and making them go a heck of a lot further. So, and I will show you how I store my other dies. Okay, so as you can see, I have a um, couple of hooks here and then I have a magnet board. Now I got these magnet boards at Joann's and I purchased them with a coupon because they're about 20 bucks a piece. Um, and I wanted to use them for all my movers and shapers dies. Um, because they were in bags and baskets, like the baskets that I just showed you, and I wasn't utilizing them. What's the sense in having the dies if I'm not going to use them? I mean, I can seriously count on one hand how many times I used these dies last year because they were too much of a pain in the butt to get to. So what I decided to do is, excuse me, is I have one of these on each end of this die cutting station, which is a sofa table, by the way, that I picked up at Ross for like $59, $69, something like that. And it's wood and iron, which is the reason I bought it, because I knew that it would be sturdy enough to handle all of these dies, because they're heavy. And so then on the back side, I have put all of my, well, not all of them, on the back side on both of these, I have my border dies, PTI, MFT, spellbinders, whatever, all of my flat, thin uh, border dies go on this. Fantastic. I love it. I use them so much more now. I just had to have hubby make me the hooks out of um, old coat hanger, coat hanger and great hooks and he enjoyed making them and it has worked out fantastic. And as you can see I have all of my embossing folders here. These are all my plates that I need, the different kinds of plates for the two machines that I have. I only have a wizard and um, the big shot. And then I have my, um, up here, I have my little sizzlets right here, and then I have my holiday Tim Holtz or Sizzix dies, um, my mixed media style ones, and then my frames and tags and things like that over here. So, and then I also have a little basket full of uh, chipboard scraps that I keep right on top of my, on the edge dies there. And um, that way it's right there, and I don't have to go hunting for it. And I just throw, you know, when I'm working on mini or whatever, I just throw all my scraps in that basket, and that's the first thing I do. Um, like when I do die cutting for Linda, that's the basket. And I, I just fill up that basket. When the basket's full, I do die cutting for her. So, and then all my bigs and my XLs are in here along with my tray and along with the along the edge 
um, plates and dies, the longer ones. And then, as I said, and then in here I keep the stuff for my um, Martha Stewart Circle Punch. And then this is like the silhouette and um, instruction books and circle cutters and that kind of stuff. So, and I'll give you a pan up of what this thing looks like. So as you can see, this is what my die cutting station looks like. You guys have to forgive the hot mess in the background. I'm in the middle of like 20 projects <laughs> and other stuff too. So relatively inexpensive and I really, really like it. And as you can see right here, here is the other um, magnet board. And on the back side of that is more of the border dies. So I have a little bit of room to grow. Not a ton, but you know what? That's the whole point. I need to start using the stuff I got or get rid of it. So thanks everybody for watching. I hope this helps and um, have fun. Bye.